Now let us look at the second question here and the second question is from JavaScript and I think most of the students must have given a wrong answer for this question. Let us see this question. They are giving us a variable y which is 12. Now we have a function f which is again having a variable y and again we are calling a alert this dot y. Okay. So first time it is going to print a value here and then we have function g. Here again we are calling alert y and again we are calling g and uh, then we are calling the function f. So when this code will execute, uh, first this variable will be declared and then this function will be called and inside this function the function g will be called. Now they are asking if m is the number of alert dialog boxes generated by this javascript code. That is m is number of alert dialog box boxes. Alert dialog boxes generated by this code and d1 and d2 are the dialog boxes that is the content of those dialog boxes content of those dialog boxes dialog boxes okay then uh, what is the value of m and what is the content of each of these dialog boxes so many of the students have given a wrong answer for this question now for this question uh, they are simply asking do you know what is the meaning of the this keyword in case of javascript see in case of javascript this keyword behaves a little differently as compared to other languages you must have learned java programming language you must have learned c++ you must have learned uh, .NET programming languages in all these languages we use a this keyword but in case of javascript it behaves a little differently in different scenarios right so for this uh, for understanding this keyword let us let me take a simple example to explain with exactly the same program but with a different way okay now here as you can see i've taken a variable y in this script i've taken a variable y which is having the value 100 so this my where is having the value 100 now again you can see this my where is a global variable here because it is not uh, defined inside any function and here we are giving a definition of who is function and then here we have who, we are calling this who is function okay now when you are calling this whois function you can see that there is a local variable here which is my var is equal to 200 and we are calling alert my var. So when I am just calling this my variable function the scoping here is uh, local. I mean uh, in case of uh, javascript again if we have a function and in this function there are some variables are declared for example here my var variable var uh, is declared and this is var. And I'm just calling this my where somewhere in this function that can be uh, alerting some dialog boxes that can be using this my variable any other in any case. Now this case it will call this local variable. It will call the local variable, right? But when I'm using this keyword here, because of this keyword, this alert dialog will call the global variable. Okay. Now here because of this function, when you are printing, when you are executing this function, the first case it is going to show the dialog box as 200. And the second case it is going to show the dialog box as 100 because because of this keyword it is uh, acting this uh, global variable. Okay. Now again here as you can see here, uh, we have a variable y. Let me just change the color of the pen so that you understand it properly. We have a variable y here. We call this function. Again from here we call this function. Then there is a variable y which is storing the value 6. But when the first alloc dialog box, this first alert statement got executed, in this case, because of this keyword, it will call the global variable, it will print the value y, uh, value 12. Now, next, we have declared one more function, which is function g, and this function g is inside the function f. Now, because this function g is inside the function f, therefore, this variable, because, and we are not using a this keyword here, so it should call the local value. So, it, it is a local scoping. Okay, so it will be using a local scoping and this one is using a global scoping because of this keyword so because we are not using any this keyword here and we are calling this function g so this function g will call a local variable here which is having the value 6 so for this particular case when m is the number of dialog boxes so because we have only two alert statements and recursively again and again we are not calling the function g because if we are calling the function g recursively then this will create uh, the alert statement infinitely but we are executing this alert statement and it is only executing two times so the number of dialog boxes that it will show is two the first dialog box which will be this one this will be the first dialog box that it will show and in this first dialog box we are using a this keyword so the value of the content the content of the dialog box one will be uh, 12 and then the second dialog box will be executed and the content of the second dialog box will be six 
So for this question, the correct answer is option number four, which is showing m is equal to two and displaying twelve and six. That is the correct answer to this question. I think most of the students uh, got the answer right, wrong for this one. Uh, some of the students got the answer wrong. Some of the students got the answer right. But if you got the correct answer for this question, just uh, uh, tell us uh, about the correct answer. Uh, comment in the comment box if you got it right, and if you got it wrong, again comment in the comment box. Uh, let us see how many of you got the correct answer for this given question. Okay. Now let us look at the question number three. 